In my laboratory at the University of Tokyo, we are conducting a study on teleexistence. Teleexistence is an advanced type of teleoperation system which enables an operator at the controls to perform remote manipulation tasks dexterously with the feeling that he or she exists in the remote environment where the robot is working. He or she can teleexist also in the virtual environment which a computer generates and be able to operate the real environment through virtual space. We proposed the concept of teleexistence in 1980 and have been working for the realization of the concept and application to robotics, design and communication. This is the master device used in experiments in teleexistence manipulation. While working, the operator views the actual scene at a remote location in stereo vision in a head-mounted display. This is the teleexistence slave robot. Sensors measure the motion of the operator's head and arm and this information is sent through computers and communications facilities to the robot at the remote location. Thanks to a counterbalance structure using parallel links and universal joints, the operator has six degrees of freedom of movement in the space with no constraint on head movement and without even being conscious of the weight of the device. In addition, the impedance control used to control the robot's force allows the appropriate action to be carried out quickly. The robot's head is equipped with stereo cameras and microphones. The operator can point the camera in any desired direction to obtain a stereo view of the scene. A slave device with seven degrees of freedom of movement designed to duplicate human movement faithfully reproduces the work actions of the operator. We succeeded in building this system so that even if the object being worked on moves, the appropriate action is carried out with no error in the target distances. The robot reproduces the natural coordination of the human eye and hand. In addition, a strain sensor measures finger forces to allow even fragile objects like eggs to be handled without breaking. The natural, real feeling obtained even in such complex situations allows the work to be carried out smoothly. Our teleexistence system has made collaboration between humans and robots a reality. It can be used almost anywhere communication with a human being is required. It also allows people to work in cooperation with others who are at a remote site. Thus is the human liberated from the bonds of place and time. In this system, the computer composes a virtual environment which does not actually exist, but within which a human being can act freely.
The human can also move about freely in the virtual environment. As he or she does so, the computer graphics screen responds in real time. The operator thus always sees a convincing representation of his or her field of view, including distances and sizes. The real feeling these virtual environments provide allows us to operate on the actual world through virtual space even more freely.